See, like every other artist and producer on social media, I could tell you that I wake up at 5 a.m., go to the gym for an hour and a half, then make music all day long and clear everything on my to-do list every day. But there is one problem. This would absolutely not be true and my goal with this channel is to show you the most real and authentic music journey as possible, so instead, let's have a look into what a day in my life actually looks like as a music YouTuber. No filter, no bullshit. If you don't know me, I'm a morning person, so I do wake up early at 6.45 a.m. every day. That unfortunately includes most weekend, and as a perfect cliche millennial, I just spend a good 15 minutes on my phone, catching up on everything, pretending that it helps me to wake up. Once I get out of bed, the first thing I have to do every morning is to do my posts on social media. To be honest with you, this is the part that I hate. Not posting, of course, I love that, but having to do it first thing in the morning, and that is because I live in the last time zone on Earth, Pacific time, so I have to post between 7 and 9 a.m. if I want my post to be seen by everyone. Now that this is out of the way, I can start with my first block of work from 7.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. To try and avoid procrastinating, I always plan my day ahead of time. Either the night just before or the Sunday for all the week, but these days it's mostly just the night before. And I do that for two reasons. One is to not have to lose 30 minutes to figure out what I should do. And second, I had time before to make sure that me doing this specific task at this moment is the best thing for me to reach my goals. Today I have a coaching session, so it is pretty straightforward. I spent about an hour and a half on Zoom with a new student who needed help to get started with social media in order to promote his trap and drill beats and eventually make money from it. I helped him understand how it works, create a path with actionable steps, understand some marketing strategies, and I can't wait to see what he'll do. This has recently became one of my favorite part of the day, seeing my student feel more confident and having an eye-opening realization about their journey. While I was on the call, my wonderful voice Friend got me a nice pain au chocolat for breakfast, and no, it's not chocolatine for every French producer out there. With a good old orange juice and watching some entertaining videos on YouTube, I take about 30 minutes to chill and reset my brain before moving to the next block of work. Often time, a cliche would be to think that all we do is making music all day long and having fun. But the reality of things is that when you are your own boss, an online entrepreneur, a lot of it includes making content on social media because this is your only advertising for your products or services. Doing some admin tasks to take care of your business backend is also a real thing. Some of my days do have more music in them, like for example when I need to record vocals for producers or doing some mixing and mastering services here and there but today it was mostly about content creation. All right, so after this yummy breakfast, it is now time to get to work. I need to work for the label that I'm working for. And to do this, I need to go on focus mode. So this is gonna get out the room. From 9.30 to 11 a.m., I worked on creating content for the music label Jupita, which I started working for about two or three months ago. I basically take care of all their social media content and try to grow their community. As you know, being your own boss, being an artist, comes with a lot of uncertainty. So having this little freelance job is nice to be sure that I have a little amount of money coming in every month. All right, I'm done with Jupiter. Now I need to edit an Instagram reel and TikTok video for tomorrow. Before I go from a task to another, I like to take like five minutes to reset my brain and just take a breath. So I'll be back. 20 minutes later. All right, back to editing. I usually try to stay ahead of time and have my Instagram reels ready way before I need to post them, but these days, as I just came back from a little time off, I'm a bit behind, which I don't really enjoy too much. After doing this for over two years and a half, my process is pretty straightforward and it took me about 45 minutes to edit the full video. At 12 p.m., it is enough for the morning session and I take a longer break for lunch. Before eating though, I either call my family or go on a walk outside. Today, we're going for a walk. All right, so this is where I walk pretty much almost every day. And usually I listen to music, like chill music, country music, something completely unrelated to EDM. I find it super inspiring. Or I listen to podcasts. I honestly always have to force myself to get out the studio and stop working. But every time I'm here, then I love it. it feels so good. Refreshing, inspiring. My mind can think, you know? Really good. 
I learned the hard way that the more I slam working hours in my day, the less productive and creative I get. I find those walks being very relaxing and free up my mind to be creative. It is often during those walks that I get new ideas, which is exactly what happened that day. Alright, so I'm almost back, I'm on my way back home, and the result is I got three great ideas. I think it was quite productive in the end. Once I got back home, I took an hour to have lunch with my boyfriend. We just ate leftovers from the day before and watched the show on Disney Plus while chatting and having fun. But when 2pm hits, it's time to go back. Alright, let's play some piano. I find practicing piano every day really hard, which is why I recently started a 30-day piano challenge with my community. If you missed this one, don't worry, I will probably organize them every month with a different theme to help motivate each other. My goal with piano isn't to become a professional pianist, but to be confident enough to create my own chord progressions and melodies. Until then, Melodix is helping me perfectly with that, which is the app that I use to practice and learn. I find it one of the best out there as they make it very easy and entertaining to practice. You can follow a guided path of lessons, practice your skills, learn famous classical songs, they help you stay motivated, is so motivating after this if you're not motivated to practice piano i don't know what to do for you and you can have a lot of fun at the same time there you go i can do better 100 percent and that's it done by the way this video isn't sponsored by melodix it is just me sharing a resource that i love and use myself although i am an affiliate with them so if you want to grab the app or try it for free you can do so with the link in my description it'll help support me and the channel at the same time now if you decide to go with the paid version make sure to use this code as you will get a 15 percent discount now what do i need to do oh yeah thumbnail design you'll see this is quite funny to do all right, so let's go for the thumbnail design. Let's put a nice focus music for inspiration. Every time I don't have to hear what I do, this is the kind of music that I listen to all day long. If I have to do writing, you know, newsletter, coming up with like brainstorming ideas, you know, and stuff like this, or the thumbnail, this is what I put to really focus. It helps me immensely. So as I was just saying, making thumbnail is quite fun. Look at those beautiful pictures I just took. The thumbnail and the title are usually the very first thing I do when coming up with a new video. So for this one, I already had the concept and knew exactly what to do. So normally that should be the thumbnail that made you click on this video. If it's not, that's because I changed it because most of the time I go through two, three, four different concepts before landing on one. So yeah, you guys are making me work hard for it. <laughs> In an effort to make this video as authentic as possible, I have to admit that this took me the whole afternoon. I was really hoping that I could make some music at the end of the afternoon, but I couldn't. It is time for me to take a break and have dinner. Tonight, me and my boyfriend ordered food, a butter chicken to be precise, and again, had some laughs, chat a little bit, and continued our show on Disney+. Plus. At night, I often try to take a bit more time off to spend some quality time together, but as he's doing some overtime these days, I just went back to work as well and replied to some emails. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, this is the number one thing that I struggle with at the moment. To set myself boundaries and take some time to rest and chill in the evening. I really try but it's stronger than me and every time I keep doing this it gets me close to burning out so I still have a long way to go to learn about how important it is to rest and chill the pressure of having to make your own money and being your own boss is really present I can really feel it and it's one of the hardest things to deal with around 9 p.m. though I was getting really tired so I just decided to chill reading on the couch listening to music and replying to comments while I was waiting for my boyfriend to be done work as you can guess, it didn't go as planned and I still ended up finished writing more emails at 10.30 p.m. because I needed help from my boyfriend to check my English and rewrite them with me. So as you can see, music is a minimal part of my daily life and I struggle with the exact same things as you do and sometimes my day don't go as planned. 
Hopefully I was able to show you how I overcome all these issues and hopefully you were able to get a few tips along the way. Now you can watch this playlist next for more videos on my authentic journey learning music production, but in the meantime, keep learning and I'll see you in the next one. Make it go